All the organic material in the world, like trees and um, nuts and, and plants and so forth, extract carbon from the sky and embed it in themselves. That's known as biomass. The process of gasification takes this biomass and then extracts energy out of it. And the only thing left over is pure carbon or charcoal, which can then be put back in the ground. This is the only form of carbon negative energy in the world. How it works is this. We take biomass like this, and put it in the hopper. It's heated up in a low oxygen environment that breaks down the long chain hydrocarbons and releases a vapor that's full of hydrogen. That hydrogen goes directly into an, a regular car engine, turn it on, and it works. Anything that's dense and organic, we can extract energy out of to make, to run an engine. So there's, there's four main pieces. There's the hopper that holds the fuel, the reactor where it's burned or smoldered to get the energy, a filter to make sure it's clean, and then an engine. So you're basically looking at kind of a fuel refinery and then an engine side by side. One of these is strong enough to run about three or four households in the United States, and you'd have to fill it every, couple, every four hours or so. Palm kernel shells from West Africa, stone fruit like peach pits, corn cobs, wood chips like pine, peanut shells, and wood pellets. They all work, and we have a lot of them. So after we're done turning this into energy, what we have left is this kind of charcoal. So you can physically put this in the ground. You've done two things. One, you've taken carbon out of the sky and put it back underground where it belongs. And two, this is kind of like plant crack. Plants will grow up to 20% more if they have this as a soil supplement. This is an Arduino controller, which allows us to, con to control all the process of moving the fuel, temperature sensors, everything we need to know to micro control the reaction process inside the reactor so we know how much fuel we're making and what its content is. The ability to make renewable energy anywhere you want, whenever you want, for a dime is unprecedented. Well, our goal is to make them easier. We want to get to the point, and we know that we can get to the point where you can take any organic thing, uh, a tree chunk, uh, a coconut, uh, a burrito, anything, and put it in a device, and out comes electricity. We know the steps to get there. These are some of the first steps.